What's up? It's Robert from Existence First, mental training for a modern world. Once again, it's been a long day, so I'll make this a quick reflection for today's video. Today's mental training is about staying to some degree grounded or centered when the world's not giving you what you exactly would like. Everyone does great when the world feeds them positive events. You know, everyone does great. I mean, sun could be out, you might be off of work, you go to the beach, you're probably going to have a great time and feel good. Um, let's say you go to the party, you meet cool people, they compliment you on your fashion, the way you look, you're probably going to feel good, right? So we all do great uh, when the world gives us great. But as soon as the world gives us crap, how do we do? That's the real question, you know? How do those people do as soon as the world hands them crap instead of gold, right? Because that's when all of us will uh, fall victim to vibrating out the same low vibrations that the world gives to us. And that's nothing to be impressed by, uh, especially for human beings. Any animal out there uh, can just vibrate at the same level as their environment, and that's not, uh, that's not impressive at all. What's impressive is that is when people, uh, human beings, um, can actually set the frequency of their environments. The environment could be crap, but they perform high at a high level. Right? I'm watching on Amazon Prime. I guess you can watch these old school sports games, and I'm watching uh, one of Michael Jordan's uh, NBA championship games against the Utah Jazz. It's a famous game because he had the flu. I don't know why I put the flu in quotes. He had the flu, um, or I guess he had symptoms of it. Uh, he didn't sleep, he was feeling horrible, and yet he performed like very well. He scored a lot of points apparently, but I have to finish watching the game. But it was a very famous game because it, it, it added to this legend of Michael Jordan uh, just being an amazing performer. By the way, a, a very good book I would recommend, self-help book, is called Relentless. It's written by the trainer of Michael Jordan and it's about mindset so anyways how do we stay grounded centered when the world's giving us crap how how do we continue to execute towards our mission I mean that's why I like all of this Navy SEAL stuff that I've been watching you know military trainings and whatever Navy SEAL training is very difficult it's like how do you accomplish your mission when people are shooting at you when you're behind enemy lines, when you are uh, awake at 3 a.m. and you haven't slept. Like, how do you do these things? You know, well, people are doing them. You know, that's a wake-up call to all of us. People are out there doing it. And that doesn't mean that, oh, now we should feel bad about ourselves because we're not like that or whatever, right? That is our own inner critic talking crap. And so one phenomenon that happens is that the universe gives us crap and that activates some of the weak voices in our head that then continue to give us crap and more crap even after the universe has stopped giving us crap right so 20 percent of the crap came from the universe initially but then the rest the remaining 80 percent came from the, the of the very own uh characters in our mind a total inside job uh just because we're not monitoring the mind so what's the way out of all of this okay well it's um I guess I'll have to go through that more thoroughly in another video, right? Because I don't have all the answers today. Uh, but what I can tell you is that um, I'm running experiments this week, and I'm going to see what happens, you know, because this is this is really, uh, I always like the word spiritual warrior, you know, uh, um, or you know, psychological warrior or something like that, right? I mean, we have to, we have to really, really, own what we talk about and so I will be experimenting this week and I will report back on the findings of my experiments and the goal of all of these will be to to find out what works and what doesn't work and uh, that's all I have to say for now okay think deeply and put your existence first